Welcome to the Accomplish Brain Podcast, where we share our passion, knowledge, and experience about the brain and health. A couple other things I want to talk about. So when I talked about vertigo, so I want to talk to you about that as well. So one of the, the classic vertigos that people have is they call B. PPV. And what that is, is that we talked about the ear canals, right? So we talked about the ear canals. These, we have three of them on each side. We have one semicircle, the ear canals, one in the front, one in the side, one in the back, right? And we have next to these ear canals are these crystals or these otoliths and the otoliths. So the, the canals rotation, right? down or flexion, extension, rotation, right, rotation, left. And then these otoliths, the utricles and saccule, basically when we translate forward and back, what happens is those crystals sometimes could break off and they could, they could, they could actually get stuck in one of the ear canals. Generally, not all the time, but most common is they get stuck in one of the posterior uh, canal. So just say they got, and what happens is when you move your head in that position, they, the, the rate that they fire is abnormal. And that abnormal causes a sensory mismatch. And it causes either you to feel the client that either they're spinning or the room is spinning. Okay. And what happens is you could, the way you can, um, look at it is you could put the client in that position and you could see if they have a nystagmus. And what that means is that they have an oscillation. So what happens is the way that works is in the left ear canal, if they have the, in the back posterior left ear canal, if they have the, if they have the BPPV, when they put the head in that position, that's going to activate that ear canal, what's going to happen is it's going to force the, cause the eyes to go opposite, right? So it's going to actually have the eyes go down, if it's the back left ear canal, down to the left, and then come really back fast up to, to down to the right, I mean, and really fast, it's going to come back up to the left. So you put them in the position, the eyes will go like that, and they, it's going to go boom, boom, and it's going to keep doing that. And that constant going back and forth, going down to the left, I mean, down to the right and up to the left, that is called an oscillation. And the oscillation in neuroscience is called a nystagmus. So we'll basically have a nystagmus up to the, to the left because you put them in that position and it's going to cause their eyes, the, ver, the, the ver, vestibular ocular reflex to go. If you put them that back ear canal, it's going to force their eyes to go opposite. It's going to slowly go down to the right and then fast up to the left. And that constant back and forth, it's going to appear that the eyes are oscillating up to the left because it's that, that fast movement. It's going to slow fast. If you consider doing that, when you're looking at the, the person's eyes, it's going to appear their nystagmus or their oscillation is up to the up to the left. And in that case, there's you see a skilled practitioner like Jeff or I, and you can you, I mean you can you can you can do it over Zoom because you can, but if they come to the office a little bit better because you can teach them the reposit you put them in exercises ultimately that basically get that that otolithic or the crystal out of that canal and usually once you do that um that usually fixes the the corrects the problem and then and then the, the sensory mismatch goes away um right. with people that are 65 and over i i see this all there you, you know just remember this in general that as we age, our, our function is going to demise at some point, right? So even if you run, 
and you take care, you, you know, it, you know, even if an example, if, if you, you see amazingly Tom Brady, I mean, and he's, he works so much on his body, the mental part. He's, you know, incredible that he's won the seventh Super Bowl. But probably there's aspects that his probably consciousness has gotten better, his focus has gotten better. But there's probably con some aspects of his physical abilities are probably, even though he's playing in a ridiculously high level, might be some of the, maybe his arm strength's a little less. But, he's, but he puts so much work into where he's still playing at a ridiculous high level. So, but just in general, as you age, you're going to, you're, you're just, things are, aren't going to function as, as well. And you have to put that much more time to function at a very high level, especially like him. So if you do nothing with your balance and don't work on it, when you get from 65 and over, your balance is going to drop and demise. So it's important, very important, because one of the biggest things that happened to people of, at 65 or older is the, the, the um, probability goes up that they can fall and they could break something. So in order to inhibit that, really important to see a practitioner and get, and get a balance evaluation Right, and then work with a, pro a program, a simple program that can help restore or improve or get their balance better.